Yo guys, what's up? It's Adam here, I can't see the guy. I'm talking about um, celebrities and actors that I've met. I don't want to start off this playlist by talking about meeting Robert Eggman. What can I say? This guy is a complete legend known for playing Freddy Krueger. He's also appeared in several other horror movies as well and comedies and other TV shows. But I like to remember him as um, Freddy Krueger, you know, and I love Freddy Krueger, you know. <laughs> love him up to the point where I've even got him tattooed on my arm. You know, so big fan of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies, love all of them. I'd have to say I like um, number one and three equally, you know, but I like all the rest. Uh, the one I wasn't particularly keen on was part five, but I suppose I can get away with it with some terms. But um, love the Freddy Krueger character, and meeting Robert Eggland is a true honour, everybody. I mean, if you're planning on meeting Robert Eggland, you won't be disappointed. The guy's just so great to meet. I mean, like I say, he'll personalise you a photograph. And he'll even, he'll even let you have a free photograph took with him because that's the type of guy he is. He won't really charge. I mean, the photograph that you saw at the start of this review was me dressed as Freddy Krueger and I'm posing in a photo shoot with Robert Eglund. It's not the best photograph in the world. I must get a better one. But I had to pay for that. And, um, you know, back then we didn't have iPhones. So it was kind of difficult. But if I do have the opportunity to meet Robert Eglund again, I definitely will do it and get a proper photograph took and I'll do an update video. But, uh, like I say, I went dressed as Freddy Krueger, you know, and um, he gave me a compliment about the, the mask I was wearing and the attire. And he says, you must be a true fan, he says, to spend that much on, on a Freddy Krueger mask and etc. Um, but the thing I like about Robert Eggman is that he's so patient with the fans. He loves meeting the fans and he never rushes them. He never likes like to get the signing over and done with so he can get so he can get away. He's not like that. He's always got a story to tell, you know, I mean, like a photograph that I took for him to sign, you know, he even explained about the day he did the shooting on the photograph about the hat being too dark or the sweat or the, um, you know, the hat being too shiny and all that, etc. He always had a story to tell. Even if he gave a simple photograph, he'd tell you a whole story about the photograph, about where it was took, where it was, what time it was. He'd always have a story to tell. He loves answering questions and he loves to... Um, Get stories rolling about Nightmare on Elm Street or anything you want to ask him in general. You know, I mean, like I say, he's a complete legend and, uh, you know, I'll forever remember him as Freddy Krueger. And like I say, if the opportunity comes along again in the future to meet him again, I definitely will do it. Um, but I need to get a better photograph and I definitely will do that. But I've got to sort of photograph you put two Adam Sleep Kills from Robert Eglund and I've got it in a frame on the wall downstairs with all the rest of the memorabilia and autographs of all the people that I've met. You know, love Robert Eglund, everybody. I mean, sadly, he says he won't play Freddy Krueger again because he feels he's too old to portray the character, you know, and um, I even recorded him saying that. So just type in Freddy Krueger in my search box on my, um, on my channel and it should come up. He goes into detail about um, how there was a prequel planned shortly after Freddy vs. Jason in 2005. But nothing came of the script, so he, he would have done it. You know, so he would have dyed his hair red and made himself look younger for the part. And um, you know, apparently the prequel was about Robert Eglund um, playing Freddy Krueger when he was human, and he was explaining the, the background story about how he grew up for an abusive foster family, how he met his wife and ate his child, and where he did his first kills, and showing him in prison and then getting out. And then the movie would end with him being burnt, you know, with the parents being the vigilantes, you know. And that was the idea of a prequel script, and it was called Kruger First Kills by John McNoffin. And uh, nothing came of the script, unfortunately. And um, here we are in 2023, and there's still been no word of a prequel or any more films which will have Robert Eggland in it. And he did say in the interview that he feels he's too old to play the character now, which is a shame, but I, I kind of res respect his decision. You know, the guy is like nearly 76 years of age and it's kind of understandable if he doesn't want to play Freddy again. And I think we should all respect his opinion for that. You know, he says it's best he doesn't play Robert Eck, Freddy Krueger again. And he says he feels like he's got to the age now where he's got to let the character go. And, you know, I think we should all respect that. It's sad, yes, I know, but many of you would say no one else can play Freddy Krueger other than Robert Eglund. And I kind of agree with that. So, yeah, it's going to be a shame. Sadly, in the future, we're going to see sequels or reboots. We've got Robert England in it. 
But Robert Eglin has said he'd like to do a cameo or a voiceover as Freddy Krueger, but he just can't physically play Freddy Krueger. But again, if you're meeting Robert Eglin, everybody, you won't be disappointed. It's well worth the money. You know, he doesn't charge too much for his fans, and um, he's just an honour to meet. And um, that's one of the main reasons why I'd love to meet him again, you know, simply because he's very talkative. He's very well-mannered, you know. He's like a true gent, basically. Got no complaints at all about Robert Eglund. You know, definitely want me to begin. Please leave a comment below, everyone. If you've got anything you would like to ask, feel free. Thanks, everyone. Peace out.